let's go ahead and talk about the 7 Artisans 50mm T1.05 Vision Cinema Lens. I did get this in a three-piece set along with the 25 and 35mm T1.05 Vision lenses. And of course, if you actually want to use any of these lenses at T1.05, you're going to need neutral density filters because I like to shoot wide open. That's the whole reason I got these lenses. I use a combination of a variable ND and a fixed ND. Links to my favorite ND filters, these lenses as individuals and the complete lens set, which is kind of hard to find, will be in the description down below. We do have a slip over style lens cap here. I'm cool with that. It's better than the screw on kind they usually do in their photo lenses. By the way, you can get a photo version of this exact same optical formula. I'll drop a link to that below. You sacrifice the geared cinematic body in exchange for a much smaller, lighter, and cheaper version of the exact same optical output and formula. As you can see, it is geared so that you can use your follow focus gears to operate either the aperture or the focus rings, or both if you have two follow focus gear sets. The aperture goes from T1.05 down to T16. The close focus distance is about half a meter or 19.7 inches, which is not bad for a 50 millimeter crop sensor. You get a huge 270 degree throw on your focus ring. One thing that I cannot stand about these lenses, and it's mostly a personal preference, is that you can focus way beyond infinity. There are some niche situations, like if you're going to be using a diopter or barrel extension to do some macro work, but these lenses really are not good at close focus anyway. And all this really makes me do is miss my infinity focus. It's really my only major gripe with these lenses, considering the price to performance that you get in every other aspect of this lens. Aperture blades are rounded and the bokeh is very smooth through the entire T-stop range. Close focus examples to show you guys that it gets pretty blurry, foggy, lack of contrast when you're really close focused and you're shooting wide open. It does clean up as you go up some T-stops. If you continue to shoot wide open, but you push your subject back after a couple of feet, even at wide open, the image starts to clean up quite a bit. And at most realistic shooting distances, this lens is gonna do just fine wide open if it's for video. If you're gonna pixel peep, you're gonna notice it's a little bit soft on video, not an issue at all to me and to most people that want something that's cost effective and has some character because as we covered in the 25 millimeter character comes from optical flaws of the lens you cannot have unique character without flaws the flaws are the character and the character come from the flaws. This lens does not have nearly as much chromatic aberration as the 35 millimeter and like the 25 millimeter it does display a visible amount of swirl in the backgrounds of certain subjects at certain distances. Something that I personally like because it really gives you that vintage look and the images I'm getting out of this much closer match the 25 millimeter that comes in this set than the 35. It shoots very flat so if you like to shoot log because you like a flat image the natural flatness that comes from these lenses further enhances your ability to really pull your files around and edit them to suit however you want the end result to be and finally for the lens flare test let's look right in the headlight of my tahoe with low beams and fogs and then we'll take a look at it with high beams on as you can see, there is a flare present. It does have a little bit of a colored tint to it, but it's not obnoxious and it's not over the top. And it's something I can work with because it doesn't wash over the entire image. Again, links to all this stuff is in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, the full three piece set comparison to see how they go together as a set. Videos are coming up soon, so subscribe to stay on top of all the new content I have coming and have a great day.